This is going to be a short video that explains the use of reports in Access. So I have my sample database here which contains a number of tables including uh, students and, and the enrollments and provinces that they uh, are from, their home uh, information. If I go to database tools I can look at the relationships window and I see that students uh, has a, program, a primary key of an, the ID field, it also has a foreign key of the province which comes from the provinces table, it has an enrollment ID which is connected to, uh, well enrollments has an enrollment ID and so enrollments is the connection between students and courses so it helps us create a list of which students are enrolled in which courses. So I've already looked at the tables, I've already looked at the queries or you've already seen the queries and for example here's a query that I created which would be an email list of all these students. So it has first name, last name and email address. It's a very simple query. I'm simply taking these three fields from the students table and I'm showing them in the query. So that's really all I ever need in an email list, right? I can display the query looks great. Now the thing about reports is that they are well formatted, or they can be, they can be well formatted results of a query. I've got a report here that's already been created called the email report. So I'll double click on this and it opens the report and you can see it's the first name, last name, and email address of all the students in the course. So I've already had all that information but now it's a little bit nicer formatted. There's a total number at the bottom which, you know, it's kind of it could use a little bit of fixing up actually, but it has a nice, it has the date and time that the report was run and when I print it then that information will stay here. So it's, it's very useful to be able to create reports. In order to create reports I can simply, uh, they are always created off of a um, query, so I can click a query and then I can choose, well they're probably not always created but that's usually how I do them. So I have my query done and then I choose uh, create report. So create a basic report, there's also report design in the blank design, a blank report in design view and you can create uh, with a report wizard. So I can just click report and it automatically builds one based on the selected query which is usually all I'll need to do. So then I can close it, I've created a, for, uh, I've created a report. Now the thing is that all of this, all of these pieces of information are individual fields or or parts of information that are stuck into the report. And I can click on them and let's say I didn't want that number there, the record count, I could delete that just by clicking delete and I've gotten rid of it. And there's this uh, small gray box in there in behind and that's just to highlight or leave a, an underline at the bottom and stuff like that. So when I'm in a report there's actually a number of views. I can go into the print, the layout view which is where I am at now because I can make changes to this. I can actually move this column to this side Whoops, and so now I've kind of blended the email address and stuck it on top of and merged it with the last name column. Not usually a good idea. I can probably move this one. Uh, that's going to I'm going to move this to the right, and now that's in the wrong spot. Now this is in the wrong spot, and I can take this and move it here, in which case I'd have to take this and move it here. But that didn't work. Now everything's stacked up onto each other. So I can just control Z, undo a couple of things. So, but there are a whole bunch of things you can do. We could also go into design view. So the design view has a little bit more detail. Now the reports in design view, I, we're not really going to get into much more detail than this. But we have an area here where the headings have been placed. And there you go, I can do another heading switch there. Now everything's back. And we have an item here called the detail. So there will be a detail row. Every row that contains a record of information from the query will contain, uh, sorry that was a weird message, uh, every row that I have will be in one entry in the detail row. So it's always going to be first name, last name, school email address. That's the name of the fields that they're coming from. And then I have a page footer, so at the bottom of each page I'll have the number of pages and I have the report footer. This report footer just a few seconds ago contained a total count. So I'll actually try that again. I'm going to close this, not make any changes to it. I still have my query selected. Create, report. Oh, my computer's about to crash. Or at least access will restart. Hopefully it's still recording and it appears to be recording. Good. I can open the backup of the file I was just working on. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. And uh, sorry, I was just going to make a quick change here. I am going to click the email address, create report, and there I can view it in design view. And you can see down here in the report footer that that actually could be made a little bit taller, hopefully, so that I'm not 
crunching the numbers too small. There, it's actually a function that will count all of the results. So now I can close it and I can say, do I want to change? Yes, I want to make the changes. And it's actually save as a new name because I already have one. Uh, better email report. And there we go. There's my email report with a bigger for field, account field. So that's it.